Hey, welcome back to Luke's Garage, guys. Um, today, we are working on the vacuum system on a Chevy 350 motor. Um, the reason I'm doing a Chevy 350 motor, uh, the vacuum systems are pretty much the same. Uh, this is a, uh, on a 1984 GMC Jimmy, but through the 80s and into the 70s and 90s, uh, very similar on the routing. Um, I get a lot of questions on, you know, hey, I disconnected a hose, where does it go? How do I trace it? So today, uh, this might be a multi, uh, multi video just because, uh, it'll be easier for me to show you how to trace out your vacuum system, but, uh, this one's pretty complex. Uh, so it should cover every hose that goes into all of your vacuum system, uh, on most of these cars, all the way from your cruise control to, uh, all your EGR and, uh, your TVS sensors and everything. So, uh, with that, let's get to the motor and we will, uh, I'll show you how to start to trace out a system, what you need. Uh, and then we'll go through every single one of the lines. Okay, so the first thing, guys, that you really want to do is uh, find a diagram of whatever engine you currently have in your truck. Uh, anything from the 80s is a pretty simple find. Uh, most of the time, uh, anything, I think, 82 and up has an actual diagram, you know, in the engine bay itself. So here we have our engine bay. Come down to your catalyst. Uh, and it'll actually have the routing for your piping, but you know, even though you have this diagram It doesn't necessarily make it easy for you know anybody to find out how this works unless you're experienced in vacuum systems um, So Anyways, this is the the point you guys are watching this video for hopefully it's uh, you're, you're here to get some help uh, And some resolution because this can be a pain in the butt if you don't know what you're doing um, so anyways, what I recommend is obviously you know, getting your diagram, but what I do to make it even easier, uh, print out a nice, you know, copy of it so I can put this up in the motor and actually take it around with me as I chase, uh, chase out all my vacuum lines. It makes it super easy. Uh, you can even put this in black and white if you want. And as you chase that a line, you can color it in in yellow. So it makes it even easier to, to trace these out. It makes it, uh, almost, uh, almost foolproof. So uh, what I'll do is I will uh, I'll make a break uh, from showing you guys this piece of paper and I'll start on each of these systems and uh, start tracing these lines out so you can see exactly where they go, uh, how to follow them, uh, and just kind of, you know, the basics to making this work. So uh, let's get to doing that. Okay, so for this video we will work on tracing out our canister lines. Now this printout that I have, uh, if you look at a vacuum diagram of your vehicle, it should be pretty uh, pretty similar to what you look at in your engine. All the locations of these parts are you know, kind of in the same spot, uh, at least enough to get you started. So I will call out all these pieces, all these different sensors and everything throughout this video so that you know, you know what to look for in your engine bay as well and what they stand for. Uh, but what we'll do just for this one, I'll, I'll put uh, you know, a second and third video up, tracing the other lines up. But for this one, we'll work on just the canister. So uh, what you want to do, look at your drawing. Um, if you're replacing lines, it will start at this rightmost uh, location on the canister. So look down there. Yeah, there it is. Um, and there's two lines coming off of it. One coming back to a T. Uh, your big main one coming up to either a Y or a T. There should be a yellow line hooking into it. So it shows blue and yellow. A lot of times the paint has worn off on these. But uh, you can, you know, similar, there should be a smaller line hooking up to a larger line. So let's look down there. And we have, here's our smaller yellow hose hooking up to our larger one, which was blue. And a lot of times, you know, there, there's paint on them. Uh, but as they get older, obviously that wears off. So we want to <laughs> come back here, found our big line. We want to follow it up to our PCV valve. So coming down here. Just follow this line, hold your finger on it the whole time, comes up, still touching it, still touching it. Climb up here in the engine. <laughs> so, here's that same line coming up, and there it is, diving down into our PCV valve. So, that one checks out, and then what it does is it also wise off of the PC, PCV valve, which if we come back, see our drawing, which I'll put up here in the engine bay with me. So you can see, 
your blue line comes in, dives into your PCV valve, and then comes out and goes to the L port on your carburetor. So we'll find that second line. Um, comes off. It's that guy right there. Swings around. Got fingers on it. Still this big line right here. Going down to the L port on your carburetor, which is right there. And it's dirty, but uh, that's, uh, that's one of your basic lines from your PCV valve to your L port. So I will put a pause on this uh, and we'll trace out another line. Okay, so the second line that we're going to trace out is this little tiny line. We just want to make sure it comes up uh, out of the canister from the second port over and ties into our T or Y which is right here, yellow line per the diagram comes up, ties in. So we're, we're good there. Um, the next line we wanna do is to your uh, transmission clutch uh, signal, which is, let me fold this down, uh, this guy right here. And so line comes up, so it's a smaller line coming out of our canister, comes up and over and goes into a T. So we'll find that. And this is one of those ones that isn't per the diagram, so this is kind of why I'm showing you guys where these are at. Uh, so it's obviously the smaller line, and it comes up, and you just want to make sure that you know you follow that line all the way up to its T. So it comes up through here and goes into a T. So we're at the T, come back to our drawing. So we are right here, and now we want to make sure it comes up to uh, the transmission switch, and it also goes through a check valve. So this little drum, black being the bottom of it, where the air, where it's coming, the signal's coming into it, uh, and it's a one-way check valve, and it goes into your uh, transmission clutch uh, signal. So that's for automatic transmissions, uh, for those of you who want to know. Um, so we come back to our T. And it should come off, uh, and it comes off the T. <laughs> so here we are back at the T. It dives down. So it's this little guy coming up through past your master cylinder. Okay. Goes up and around. And I'll just kind of pull this up, but you can see there's your check valve, and it goes into the transmission uh, clutch signal. So. That one I've had a lot of questions on. It's it's pretty hard to find. This doesn't always necessarily route this way. I'll probably reroute this vacuum line, but in the interest of how these connect, uh, that's pretty straightforward how to get there. So coming back to our T again, come down to our drawing. Uh, signals off into your EGR TVS. So that's your uh, thermal vacuum uh, switch which there are two of them on this motor. There's one right here. And what we're looking for is the one with four ports. And so if you guys have these on your motor, there's obviously two of them. On this one per diagram, there's one right here, and then there's one right here. And the way these work is the way that this little L comes off, that's the top. So this is the top, this is the bottom of that block. Uh, and these blocks look just like this. And this one was rotten, so I cut all of the uh, existing tubing and just made my own. You don't need to have a block. Just make sure all of your vacuum lines uh, reconnect to the same places. <laughs> so uh, what we're looking for is making sure off of this T, we come back into the top left. So if we look down here, uh, my vacuum switch. Let me jump back up in the engine bay. Okay, here we are at our T, dives down, and if I can show you guys, thermal vacuum switch is right here, my four port one, and it's connected to the top left just like it should be in the diagram. So pretty easy to do, so we will, uh, I'll get back down and do another one. Okay, the next one we're working on is this guy this black and white one we already figured out 
this little yellow one's there. So we want to do the second port on the canister and we want to follow the main line all the way to the T port on the uh, carburetor. So let's look down here. And if we're lucky, it'll be black and white. So looking down here, uh, we obviously have our yellow one coming up to our T. And then we have our black with white stripes. So the color's still there, that's good. We'll follow this guy along. And it should go directly into our uh, T port on our carburetor. So it comes up. And yep, it hooks right into the T port on the carburetor. So check on that one. So the next one is obviously right to our fuel tank. Uh, and it comes out of our canister. It is the one, two, third port over. So as we look down here, we've got third port over, and then I have traced this one just for, you guys have to trust me, it comes down, dives into our metal line, and goes actually does go back to the, uh, to the uh, fuel tank. So check there. Uh, and what you guys are looking for on these, I'll show you after I get done tracing the canister. Uh, just for old lines and when you need to replace them. Okay, the last one we want to do is our fourth port over. It is a, it looks to be green and black-ish. <laughs> I don't know if that, what color that is, honestly. Uh, but what it does is it goes up to the air cleaner. Um, and it shows the air cleaner up here, but in a carbureted engine, the air cleaner sits right here. So we just want to make sure that this line is actually routed to uh, a T before we get to the air cleaner. So let's get down here, fourth port over. So we're following this line that obviously has seen better days. Um, here it is, comes up to our T and then our air cleaner hose. So looking back over here, air cleaner, it will hook up to this port on the air cleaner as it sits you know it'll sit right on top of the carburetor just like that and that, that line will hook right into it so there we go on that um, and then it branches off to the uh, deceleration valve so we're coming off I'll show you what we're looking at um, <laughs> let me get my bearings so here we are air cleaner where we just were the little pipe uh, then we branch off and it comes all the way down to your deceleration valve and hooks right onto the end. Um, so here we are. A little tiny hose comes down, hooks right here to the bottom of that valve. So yeah, that checks out too. Um, so what I'll do now is we still have all this to go through. I will put this on a second video, including our uh, cruise control. <laughs> it took me a second to think about what the hell that was called. Um, but we'll get to those videos here in the next few days. Uh, but I'll get this one up. Let me know what you guys think. If you have questions, comments, that's great. Uh, like, subscribe. Check out my other channel, uh, Montana Made. Uh, that's it, a lot of big do-it-yourself, how to build stuff uh, channel, I guess. <laughs> so. Uh, I'll get right back to you guys whenever I get these next videos done, and I hope you enjoy them.